Lorenz metal detecting systems are recognized as being some of the most sensitive and stable metal detecting systems of their kind currently available. The Lorenz DeepMax Z1 was designed to be used with both small and large coils in order to detect ferrous and non-ferrous metal objects with an impressively wide sensitivity range. In most cases this remains almost unaffected by conductive or magnetic soils the specially developed ground balancing and metal identifying circuitry is suitable for searching at depth and gives detailed information on the probable kind of metal located. DeepMax Z1 The detector Lorentz DeepMax Z1 can be used with a wide range of different search coils ranging from small single or induction balanced double D to large frames with single or differential measuring technology. The Z1 also offers a GPS supported data logging function in order to generate color or contour maps in a matter of minutes on a computer. A hardware and software kit is available for this function. It only takes a few moments to put on the belt and shoulder straps of the Lorentz DeepMax Z1. Adjust the straps to a comfortable length and mount the electronics unit on the straps on both sides so that it is fixed in front of the operator. Finally, connect the coil and the external battery pack to the electronics unit. The deep max is now ready for use. Press the power button to turn on the Lorentz DeepMax Z1. Hold the detector search head horizontally about one meter above the ground whilst pressing the zero button for several seconds. Lower the coil to the ground and press the zero button again until a low beep sounds. During the second tuning phase, an arrow pointing to the ground on the display will indicate that the unit is presently tuning itself to the ground. If by chance the unit was tuned above a buried metal object, the whole tuning process must be repeated. The detector is now ready for use and the coil can be moved from side to side in a systematic manner. The ground balance tuning process must be followed with both large and small coils in the same way. This is essential to avoid false ground indications and misleading metal identification. In any of the cases that no ground balance has been performed, another coil was connected, or the detector has been turned off and on again, a preset ground balance setting will make sure that the detector works well on most types of ground conditions. This specially designed double frame coil consists of two coils working electrically in opposing directions. thus suppressing interferences, for example, from power cables. In order to achieve this, make sure that the marks on both coils point in the same direction and that the lower coil is connected with the marked connector of the Y-shaped adapter cable. Turn on the DeepMax Z1 with the power button. The electronics run through a self-checking sequence with initially all the icons coming on. Press the zero. A two-step ground balance tuning process should now be followed. Before starting this process, hold the coil horizontally in the air and away from any metal. Press and hold the zero button and wait for a high beep sound. The arrow will change its direction and point to the ground. Lower the coil to the ground and start the second tuning phase whilst holding the zero down again. After a few seconds the low beep sound comes on and the arrow icon will disappear showing that the tuning process is completed. 
parameters of a flashing function icon can be altered by pressing zero or power. Settings are stored and will be available the next time you turn on the unit. The delay settings 1 to 4 offer different sensitivity ranges for different metals without excluding the ground. Different ground settings compensate for heavily mineralized soils containing a high proportion of magnetic iron oxides. Filter will reduce the amount of noise received, for example, from power lines or radio transmitters. The response speed is reduced with higher filter settings. Therefore, higher filter settings are only useful with large frame coils. The self-adjusting auto function is turned on when the effects of drift are present, for example, for temperature changes or changing ground conditions. In position zero, the unit works as a non-motion machine. Sensitivity. One is lowest sensitivity to five highest sensitivity. Volume. Zero turns off the loudspeaker, nine is loud. The data logger of the DeepMax Z1 can be turned on and off. Simply alter the working frequency when interferences from power lines or radio transmitters are present. Choose a position with low noise, little bar graph indications and weak audio response. The initial audio threshold can be altered from minus 9, silent, to plus 9, a low continuous threshold with the audio function. For most applications, a setting near zero with a very faint response is perfect. Light adjusts the backlight of the display from zero off to nine bright. Tone provides a range of different audio signals depending on the metal objects. Position one a ticking sound with increasing frequency for all metals. Position 2, frequency and threshold increase simultaneously. Position 3 gives a high tone for nuggets and a low tone for all bigger ferrous or non-ferrous metal objects in ground modes 1, 2 or 3. Position 4, a low tone will indicate ferrous metal objects and a high tone will occur when non-ferrous metal objects or when hand-sized or larger ferrous metal objects are present. Position 5 is for a double D coil. There are three distinct tones. A low beep tone for ferrous, a high beep tone for non-ferrous or large ferrous metal objects, and a medium beep tone for weak indications or small low conductivity objects. There are very fast settling eddy currents present for example with small coins or thin plates and so very low indications are displayed together with a non-ferrous indication. Ferrous metal objects with a range of 30 to 60 are typical. In some cases, however, large ferrous metal objects will give a non-ferrous indication, but can still easily be identified as being ferrous because of the number derived from the eddy currents. Metal objects with a very long duration of the eddy currents, for example, larger copper, silver or brass plates, will lead to a very high time delay reading and a non-ferrous indication. D-Log 1 will appear on the display. The following functions are displayed. Meter, track, field and heading information. To start with a new field, press 0 once and start walking immediately along the first track. Press the 0 repeatedly at the end of the first track in order to store data.
When starting with the next track, work the same way while walking backwards, not forgetting to press zero at the beginning and end of each track. Always try to walk in a straight line and at constant speed and to press zero over the start and stop lines. Once the last track has been completed, press power for a short time to store the complete field data on the built-in memory. Connect the USB adapter cable to the computer and the Z1. Connect the Z1 with the power source and turn it on. Check that the data logger software kit with Surfer and Scripter software has been loaded from the USB stick and CD. Color and image maps can be generated with just a few clicks. Six different maps will be generated simultaneously if the ground was covered with multiple tracks.